Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show and uh, I won't be including the uh, actual beginning of all this because I thought that my um, my microphone thingy wasn't working, but it was. So I'm not going to include all that, huh? What? Anyway, so we've got, let's get right into this. We've got the uh, 2008 Geyser Peak Sauvignon Blanc from California. Now, um, as I was trying to say before I rudely interrupted myself, uh, the Geyser Peak Winery itself is in Sonoma County. Um, so while the, it is in Sonoma County, the grapes are actually sourced throughout California. That's why it has a California uh, designation. Uh, and I believe it told me somewhere. Okay, so the, um, they source their grapes from cool climate, primarily coastal areas throughout California, from as far south as Monterey and as far north as Lake County. All right, And they go into a little bit more description on here, but basically they... They, the grapes are picked. They're kind of segregated. Um, they don't. They don't. They don't just like mix all the grapes together. They, they keep them separated and they ferment it. Then they blend it. Okay. All right. Um, Geyser Peak's been around for for a minute, uh, I believe, if I remember right. Yes, they were founded in uh, the 1880s. Uh, 1880 was a. Uh, was when the actual winery was founded. And um, so it's been around for quite a while and uh, they are actually in the Alexander Valley part of Sonoma County. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check it out. Uh, it, it doesn't say it's 100% Sauvignon Blanc, but I'm gonna guess it is just because that's all they talk about. They don't say that they mix anything else with it. Oh, 947 on HEB, forgot that part. And I didn't go upstairs and get the book, did I? Oh, I've only got two more wines to do. Maybe I'll just wing it the rest of the time. All right, so um, color's pretty good. Um, legs, don't really care about the legs, but I still look at them. Um, now I get a lot of, um, you know, they talk about in their tasting notes about having the herbaceousness, the grassiness. I get a lot of fruit from it. I get more of the tropical fruit rather than the citrusy fruit. I don't get any grassiness at all, which is okay. It doesn't, you know, I just may not be picking up on it. Screw cap. I was just looking at the back of the label. And they mentioned screw cap. So yeah, mostly tropical fruits. Um, nothing, nothing specific, but uh, definitely not a citrusy type of aroma. Um, it's, it's a light aroma. It's not really intense. Um, it, it, it's a good bouquet, so uh, let's see how it tastes. You might be hearing the planes from Randolph flying over the, the training prop planes. Um, all right, right off the bat, it's pretty light. Um, Remember, I do drink these at room, you know, room temperature, which is around 70 to 72 degrees. So, you know, of course, I, now all the wine aficionados just had a heart attack because I'm drinking the wine too hot, especially white wines. But um, it's actually pretty light. Um, you don't get hit like sometimes with the white wines that are, especially they're kind of acidic. They really just kind of smack at you. They, they, you know, go out and hit you in the mouth. But um, this doesn't really, you know come out and just absolutely just kill you with it um, being room temperature so acid is pretty light um, but it's I don't feel it very focused
Now, on the, on the, on the palate, I'm still getting some of that tropical fruitness, but now I'm getting kind of the citrus thing. They mentioned grapefruit um, and lime. I can I can get the lime part, maybe not the grapefruitness, but definitely have that that you have the more citrus thing because you got that acidity. Um, but I also get that hint of of, of pepper of, of of the green pepper stuff, which um, which as we all know, I really like the green pepper stuff. Matter of fact, um, uh, Natura Wines found one of my videos on iFood TV, which I'm back to trying to get all my stuff back up onto them. I was looking at my stats on there. I was pretty amazed. I was like, wow, I didn't know I had that many views. I need to stop by there a lot more often. But um, uh, and they were talking about one of their wines had green peppers, and they mentioned it on Twitter. But um, uh, it's pretty it's pretty pleasant. Um, I'm not blown away by it. By it, so it's not like oh, it's going to be a 90 plus point wine. But I'm going to say it's, it's a definitely a high 80s wine. And um, I'd say probably I'd probably give it like an 86. Um, I think it's it should be an 86, maybe an 87. We'll, we'll bump it up another notch. 87. I mean, what's one point really? But um, I think I think it's a little bit better than yeah. Eighty-seven sounds like a good score for that. Um, it, it's it's not the the acid really isn't that focused, but it's it's present. That's why I, that's why I was kind of in between the eighty-six, eighty-seven. Oh, I'm gonna say eighty-six. Okay, boom, eighty-six is what it is. And it's because of the acid. It's not real focused. It's kind of like not flabby, but it's not it's not uh, it's not focused. Okay, it's, it's kind of fills the mouth, which I kind of like a little more narrowness on, on the acid. Uh, flavors are good, and um, yeah. And the timer hasn't gone off. That's a good thing. All right, so um, I was going to do it for this one. I would recommend getting it. If you find it, uh, 947 I, I'd like to see it maybe a dollar cheaper. Um, you know, that, that $9, maybe 50 cents cheaper. Um, but 947 is not a bad price for it. You know, it's just in my mind it gets closer to ten dollars. But uh, if, I, if it was me, I'd probably want it to be closer to like nine dollars than ten dollars. It is close to nine dollars. Anyway, I'd like to see it more like a nine dollar wine. But um, it's not like I wouldn't say you know, forty seven cents means don't buy it. Um, if you're looking for something, I bet you this is very refreshing once you uh, once it gets chilled. Now the timer went off. I think it'd be really good when you chill it. Um, just a little bit slightly, please don't serve these things at 40 degrees. No wine should be served at 40 or 32, like some places do. Um, but if you give it a slight chill, you know, if it was like in the 60-ish range, still a little too cold for me, but allow that, allow it to warm up and allow it to, to kind of develop. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Um, as always, please visit the website. I know a lot of people are, are watching on iFood TV. Um, a lot of people are watching this on TiVo um, and other, other venues. Stop by the website. Uh, leave, leave comments. Uh, I don't have any contests to do yet. I need to get some more swag to do that. But um, uh, leave some comments down below. Uh, you've got all the links to, to, to hit. Donate button. Friend me up up here. Check me out all the things. The iTunes. Uh, iTunes. Uh, icon will take you to the podcast page so you can subscribe to the podcast uh, if you've got your phone or you've got your tablet or whatever you can take take it with you um, and uh, yeah friend me up all the good stuff that happens on the website and if you're wondering about sommelier school it will be returning eventually um, I'm just trying to get all my other stuff accomplished but I, I have a feeling I may not resume that till after October well not after October We'll resume that until not until after the the uh, trip to France. That's going to do it for today. Hope everyone uh, had a good time, and we'll see you again next time.